plaintiff, Maxine Ray, says her daughter, who's with her in court, started dating the defendant in high school, and they eventually got married. Maxine claims her daughter is now divorcing the defendant because he's an unfaithful manipulator who cheated on her when she was pregnant. And Maxine's suing him today for the balance due on a loan. Defendant Robin Pondexter insists he and Maxine's daughter were on an even platform because she lied and cheated too. Robin admits that he borrowed money from Maxine to pay his car note, but says she took the car back, and therefore he refuses to repay her. Start with you. Uh, Robin Pondexter uh, is my soon-to-be uh, ex-son-in-law. My daughter is divorcing him. Uh, Robin is known to be a liar, a deceiver, a manipulator, and a thief. How long have they been together? Since high school. This is your daughter here? Yeah. You seem like you're about to cry. Because I'm so hurt the way he did right. my daughter. Well, let me allow her to tell me. Come, Come on, on now. State your name. Mahogany Pondexter. What do you want to tell me about your relationship with your husband? Um, me and Robin are high school sweethearts. Mm -hmm. Like, we've been together since I was 16. Well, Robin and I, you know, we were friends and also lovers. And uh, we had our first child junior year of high school. Mm -hmm. Now, everything was going cool and good. We had a good relationship and friendship. But then as time went on, Robin, like, things about him start to reveal. Like, he started to really, like, lie, cheat, and be a manipulator. Why do you think he changed? You have any idea? Um, I'm not sure. Like, he's just a selfish person and greedy into himself a lot. Oh, okay. Like, he turns things... selfish and greedy. And... You know how guys put on an act of... But not for yeah. six years. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's but pretty hard. I know. They can put on one for one year. <laughs> it's hard to fool somebody. You can he fool you for six years? Yeah, I know. You, you do but... some good fooling. <laughs> For six years, let me hear from you, young man. Uh, okay, well, I respect Miss Maxine. Are we talking about your wife and oh, girlfriend oh, oh, now oh, this at situation? this point? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, she was the same way I am. They they claim me to be. She's cheated. She's lied. It's been. It's we're on an even platform. What year did that start? That started. It kind of started at the same time, to be honest with you. I don't know when that time. was. Um, <laughs> we got together six years prior. I would say maybe two, three years. Two years after. into the relationship? Something like that, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. You called her that's cheating. Not true. That's not yeah, true. Yeah, I've called her cheating. That's, that's two not years true. into the relationship. That is not I've called her cheating a lot of times. That's not true. Okay. That's, that's not the true. reason I left. Oh, okay, uh, one instance. Um, she had sex with this guy, right? This guy we know. And after it happened, the day I actually left her, I caught her I, on her Facebook messages. She was out with him the, the day prior. She was out with him, but I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything to her about it. And she didn't come in until maybe like 2, 3 in the morning. And that happened like a week straight. Okay. Okay. All right. Did any of this happen? This happened after the yeah. fact that he already had the girlfriend right, that he cheated happen. on me with okay, when I was so nine months pregnant. Okay, so it's a question of who cheated first. He that's did. the only issue. He cheated first. All right, first. but you both cheated. Eventually, yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's why the yeah. case... All right. <laughs> just so yeah. you know, just so you know, that's where the change came. So but let, let there not first. be any confusion. Yeah. All right, he changed, you changed. That's why. Cheating. All right, so the additional thing they said about you is that you were a thief. Did she steal, right. too? Mm, no. no. Okay, so they say you're a thief, but at least you spare her that label. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Lastly, you all getting a divorce, and if so, uh, is it over all this? What happened? Um, you know, we had went to marriage counseling and everything. When? Um, sometime last year. Okay. He would act as if it's really working, but he would lie to me and be like, oh, babe, can I go over to my friend's house? But the whole time he got his friend to take him to go see the girl that he was cheating on me, when I, cheating on me with when I was nine months pregnant. Okay. How old are you guys? I'm 22. I'm 21. That's the problem. All right. You're not ready to <laughs> settle down yet. And how long ago did you catch him? After graduation. Cheated on me with my own best yeah, friend. Yeah, you all were 17. 
Yeah. All right. 780, how does he owe you for this loan? Okay, uh, September 2015, uh, Ra Ra, well, Robin, we call him Ra Ra, uh, needed uh, Is his. It Rob Rob? Or... Ra Ra. <laughs> 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 that was good. That was good. I like that. <laughs> and uh, he needed his car no paid. He was two months behind. And so I told him I'd loan him the money. And uh, he even signed a contract. Let's see it, please. And um, so he made one payment of $200 was in November 2015. Haven't seen a payment since. He tried to pay me $20 one time. It was 60 And I was told him it was I'm 60. not... It wasn't 20. It was it was 60. It wasn't 20. I went. That's enough, sir. Go ahead. Okay, and I told him no. The agreement was uh, 200, and not to mention, Your Honor, I have legal guard of both of their children. Okay. Why? Because they both sat and woke up. When he left the marriage, she couldn't take it. You know, she was going through stress. Plus, she was going to school for nursing, and she just couldn't handle it. You know, and um, Rara know that. I'm on disability. I got injured at work six years ago, left me permanently disabled. Wow. And I've been single for 18 years, you're on a back choice. He know I don't have nobody to help me financially. Everything I do on my own, I don't get no money from either. Matter of fact, can I put over there with him and sue them for some child support today? <laughs> <laughs> because they owe me. I don't get, no, I don't get no financial help for them You certainly go kids. to child support services, and if you prove that to be the case, they will. Yeah, it's the case. Uh, well, they will. Uh, charge them with child support. It's the custodian. It doesn't have to be the parent. You haven't adopted them, have you? No, just legal okay. guard through well, the courts. guardianship, yes, you're entitled to child support, so you can follow up on that. Uh, but getting back to the loan, what has he told you on your last request for payment? Uh, the last request I asked him, I said, uh, Ra Ra, when you gonna make a payment, $200? Mm -hmm. He said, you're not my only priority. I was like, well, Ra Ra, you supposed to pay me. And I know you talk about income tax, don't this and that. But <laughs> he's supposed to give me the pay me off in full when he get his income tax. My daughter tells me that he got rims on his car. He would act as if it's really working, but he would lie to me and be like, oh, babe, can I go over to my friend's house? But the whole time he got his friend to take him to go see the girl that he cheating on me with when I was nine months pregnant. Plaintiff Maxine Ray is suing her daughter's estranged husband, and her daughter claims the defendant cheated on her with her best friend. What do you say to the loan? Okay, to the loan, I did make the first payment of $200. Mm -hmm. However, the second payment, my check was extremely short. I told her, and I was actually in the car with Mahogany when I, act, when I uh, got the check. And I told her I was gonna give her something, cause you know, something is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. I wanna show her that I'm gonna repay her back. I tried How to give her- How long ago was this? This was November. It was supposed to be the second payment. Okay, the first November payment, of 2015. Beginning. Yeah. So how much has that something resulted in? Uh, that something was just supposed to be for that first payment. However, right. How about afterwards? Uh, after that, they uh -huh. actually took the car from me. Her they son, as in whom? Because you borrowed the money from her. Her, Mahog the, these All two, we're talking about today is Jeremiah. her. And unless she took that car from you, you owe her the loan that you made. What it was was that her son was supposed to drive me off at work and then pick me up afterwards. He never, he never came to pick me up. During the middle of my shift, I received a text from her, Maxine, saying that we've decided to keep the car, and it was an extremely long text, and then within that text, she threw in, yeah, because you left uh, All right, my ma'am, did you take the car back? No, or I didn't, from him. It wasn't your car in the beginning. Exactly. It, uh, you loaned him money, but uh, did you take his car? No, I didn't. Yes. What happened was, when he went to go get the car, my son went with them, uh -huh. and they ended up running my son's credit, and he had, was, had more money than Ra Ra. My son's supposed to have been the co-sign on the car. Did I have he co-sign? Yeah, I have so a proof your son and co and you gave him the money. Where right. you come in? Did no. you do anything and toward the getting the car? Happened was she didn't give me the money for the car. She uh, I know. Paid... She loaned you the money. What you used for the car? Let me read it. Uh, loaning $980 to pay back car payments. All right. Car payments. I got you the remember? car in February. Car. It's for the car. Pa mm -hmm. Car payments means for the car. You <laughs> sign here. All right? Let's get past that. And yes. this is the financing... Uh, so what is this to prove, ma'am? That, that, that's the payment I made on the date showing All right. that it was paid. And, but this doesn't tell me about you taking the car. I didn't take the car. What right, happened you know was where my the car son... is? Who has the car now? It ended up getting the repossessed. The car got repossessed. And I they thought they 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 took it. He stopped they making the payments. Well, you go sue the finance company for taking your car back for not paying them. <laughs> See how that works out. They repossessed your car, sir. She didn't take anything from you. Judgment for the plaintiff. He owes you your money for the money you gave him for the 
car payments. Your car, sir, has been repossessed for non-payment. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. Sorry. Have a good Thank day. I still don't love him. I still love him because he's still my son-in-law, my kids, my grandkids' father. And I still love Ra Ra. Yeah, I, I, mean, I love him. It, this means nothing. We yeah, okay. It would never be none of this if he would have just paid it like he was supposed to. But you know, if y'all didn't take it, then part. I would have paid it. What do you keep saying? Y'all well, fuck. I mean, I didn't take nothing. You know your wife and kids had that yeah, car. I, mean, I, go pay I never. I got my own truck. I got my own truck. Yeah, but I got my own truck. All right. Well, sure. quit saying y'all. Quit putting me in there. I wasn't with you, so I didn't want to be. Right, because you cheated on me and you still with the girl you cheated on me with. I am.